Hi, I'm Omar from ITBabble.com, and this is our Animoto tutorial. This tutorial uses the basic package, which is free, but I'll talk about some of the other packages. The All Access Pass is great because it's still inexpensive and it allows you to create full length videos up to 10 minutes long, and you can download the final product. The Pro is really for more professional use, you can actually have royalty free music and publish it commercially, so that's not uh, for educators. So check out the All Access or the Basic. We're going to start out with the sign-up process because that's the best place to start. Sign up as you would with any other free account. Just add your email address, your name, and you will receive an email from them to verify. Then you can sign in as you would with your Hotmail, Gmail, or any other uh, such account. That'll take you to the account page, main account page, where you'll see all the videos that you have created or the videos that you are in the process of creating. Um, you can delete them, you can uh, play with them, or you could edit them from there. I'm deleting one right now. This account page also has um, your videos that are sent to you by friends, which is the uh, middle tab below. And then you have an iPhone app. If you have an iPhone, you can uh, download the iPhone app, which makes creating uh, the videos easy on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and create a video. Uh, the button, unfortunately, is at the top right-hand corner. It's uh, cut off. But we go to Create Video. You can select one of the uh, various backgrounds. When you click on that, it'll ask you if you want it to purchase now but um, we'll just go with the free one by clicking on that. Now this takes you to the imagery where you can upload pictures and videos. You can upload straight from the computer. You can select from their account or you can retrieve from Facebook or other such places. Um, they have images that you can choose from or you could upload your own. You can also use their video clips. They have some interesting imagery uh, and scenes and cool some cool effects like uh, the film reel that is great for starting out these videos. And like I said, you can upload from Flickr and SmugMug and Picasso as well. So I'm going to go ahead and upload some images and a little video. Um, you're limited to about 12 images uh, or videos. I believe you can only use one video that is five seconds long, but it adds a lot of uh, interest to your video. It'll take a second to upload them. And then you'll see a little file browser that lets you uh, arrange the images any which way you want. You can add some more, you can add some text, you can add uh, a spotlight, you can uh, delete, you can uh, shuffle them, There's, uh, you can rotate them, and you can add text, and I'm going to add some text right now. It's pretty straightforward. Once you click done, it adds it like an image and you can uh, shuffle it, move it around however you would like. I'm dragging now a uh, little bit of video that I'm going to use uh, to the right spot. Here it gives you a notice that you can only use five seconds of video. And in the uh, pro version, or sorry, the all access version, you can use up to 10 seconds. So you're limited to uh, at most 10 seconds. But it gives you a little a nifty slider, let's say you have only three seconds you want to use, you can use that. You can add a spotlight to an image which actually uh, gives that image more focus. Now you're limited to uh, at most 15 elements 
um, in the 30 seconds unless uh, you really speed up the transitions, but um, keep that in mind. You can only use up to about 15 elements, including the text and uh, pictures and video. Once you've done arranging the images, adding any text, any spotlights, or um, editing any video clip that you have, it's now time to add some music. You can add some music from their wide collection, or you could upload your own. Make sure you're uploading something you have the rights to publish. But their um, music collection is quite varied indeed. And um, it took me a while just browsing around. When you click on one of the genres, it'll give you the list. You can listen to the music. You can even buy the tracks if you're so inclined. Um, but for educational purposes, you're probably not going to be buying the tracks, you're just going to be uh, inserting them. Once you've decided on a piece, you select it, and then you are going to choose your trans transition speed. And if you have few images, you want to go slow. If you have lots of images, you want to go fast. That way you can include the maximum number of 15. After clicking continue, then you add a title and a description for your video and your name so that everybody knows who has created it. Once you click create video, Animoto is going to start producing your video. Um, the whole process is going to take uh, a lot of time depending on how many effects you have. You can just leave it and sign in later. Um, that's a lot easier. Once it's ready, you can play your video. Uh, it'll be available on your account page. And as it's playing, you can actually open up the toolbox, which allows you to remix, edit, um, create a new one, delete it, uh, etc. Editing the video just takes you back to your imagery, music, and uh, finalizing tabs. But I'm not going to edit the video. I'm just going to backtrack. Uh, remixing allows you to just uh, remix the transitions. They'll just randomize your transitions. You can share your uh, video. They'll give you a URL to send to friends. You can embed the video using some code on your website or blog, or you can export it to YouTube um, or SmugMug. Now with the basic package for $3 you can create a full-length video and for $5 you can create a high-resolution video. The all-access package allows you unlimited full-length videos. The high-res is really cool if you're going to be presenting at a workshop and you want to distribute some DVDs. It's pretty impressive. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. This is Omar from ITBabble.com.